Hey everyone, Michael here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to add GAN boxes and GAN squares onto your cryptocurrency charts. This is a very, very important tool that I think you guys must learn if you want to go full time. You guys are going to be able to see support and resistance levels that other people just can't see. And it's going to help you guys out a lot. And you guys will understand why I make some of the calls I do in this current market environment. Okay. Now, the first thing you guys see on the screen right here is Bitcoin. I'm using the weekly chart, but you guys can use the strategy on the four hour daily, weekly, and sometimes monthly chart, uh, monthly charts a little bit if you just because some coins haven't been around for a long period of time, like Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP. Now, what you guys are looking for right now is just a pivot point on your chart. Here's the weekly chart. We have a pivot point in 2020, 2018. We have one over here in 2015, one over here in 2011. You know, we might even have one way down here in 2010, but eh, let's not use that one. To make things very easy, I think we're just going to go with the COVID lows right now. You can see a clear pivot went down, skyrocketed back up, and that was a beautiful, beautiful pivot point. So what you guys are going to do first here is you guys are going to put a vertical line on that low point, just so you guys can have a visual representation of what it is in case we come back to it later and you guys don't know what's going on. Okay. Now, after that, you guys are going to turn log off if it's not off already. And you can see the screen is all over the place now. It looks all kind of wonky. That's normal. Now, what I do afterwards here is I will right click on the numbers and you guys are going to see this setting that says lock price to bar ratio. I want you guys to click on that. Okay. Right there. Now, when I zoom in, I'm just zooming into a certain part of the screen and I'm not actually crunching the X and Y axes here. Okay. Those are locked. Now, here's the first big step. You guys are going to go over here to GAN square and you guys are going to click on that low point here with the magnet turned on that pivot point and you guys are going to drag it out. Now, if you guys are worried that you guys might have missed it or the magnet messed up because the bar is now locked, you guys can actually just zoom in here and double check. You guys can even get rid of this line if you want to, but you guys can see we're exactly there and we're doing perfectly fine. Now we're going to zoom back out here and you saw how it kind of locked itself in this 45 degree angle. After you let go, you can squeeze and do whatever you want with it. Okay. Especially if the magnets turn on, it'll adjust to whatever the candle is next to it. I'm going to turn off the magnet here and here's where the math starts to come into a uh, place here. Unfortunately, you guys are going to see on the right hand side of your screen, it says GAN fan or excuse me, GAN square intervals, bottom right hand corner number. That's right over here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it currently says 161. You guys want it to be 45, 90, 180, 360, 720 or double 720, you know, 1440, double that. You guys understand the ratio there. Well, 160 right now. I think we can make this go over to 180 and it shouldn't be too ex over uh, overdone right there. Perfectly fine. Now, right below that, you're going to see GAN square ratios, the top right hand corner number. And you're going to see 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 40. Those are typically numbers that you see when you're talking about stocks because stocks don't go up that fast that rapidly. If we were to add one of those simple numbers over here by clicking the settings button and going over here to price bar ratio. If I was to enter in 2, 5, 10, 20, 40, the 40 is the highest number on here. If I was to enter that, you'd see how squished this is, and that's not what we want to see. So we're going to go back into settings now, and instead of doing 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 40, we can add zeros on top of that to get the number we want to, okay? So let's say that, um, let's try 200 at first. Let's see what goes there. So we got 20. Let's just add another zero to that. 200. You can see behind me right now, that's not where we want to go. It needs to be higher. Well, we have 40, so let's go to 400. 400 looks to be perfect right here. Perfect. And you can already see some resistance levels kind of matching up to what we've been expecting with Bitcoin. So let's hit OK right now. And here's one thing. For me, I've already fixed this. You guys may care. You guys may not. You guys may have the background colors enabled. I swipe those all the way left because all I care about are the lines. Um, for this particular one, you're just going to have one background. I'm going to hit OK. After this, we're going to zoom back in on this one particular point just to make sure we're 100% certain everything is set up. It is. And after this, we're going to go over here to GAN box. We just did the GAN square. Now we're moving our way over to GAN box. You're going to do the magnet. You're going to tap on it right here and you're just going to drag it out a little bit. I'm going to take the magnet off now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more and I'm going to match this up to our GAN square right here. Okay. One to one. Everything's fine. If you guys really want to get extremely detailed, you can go to settings and you guys can go over here to coordinates and you can match the coordinates for both boxes to make sure they're exactly correct. I'm not going to go through that entire process with you guys because it's just kind of tedious, but you guys can do that. 
And you guys can see right here, I have the background set to off or just low, but you can see I can turn the colors up and down quite a bit on the chart here, okay? Now, the one thing that your, uh, your chart's probably not gonna look like mine at the beginning because I have angles turned on. Your chart may look like that. What you guys wanna do now is turn on angles so it looks like mine, all right? And now you have a GAN box and a GAN square on your charts. You're gonna be using this primarily for large levels of support and resistance. It's not a golden bullet or a silver bullet, whatever the people call it. It's not gonna give you an answer every single time. However, the thing here is, you can add these boxes on once you guys find a pivot point. So you guys could have had this whole thing set up all the way back over here in 2020, and you could still be using it now. That's how great this is. And you can see going back into some historical context, how we had some great levels of support here to help us out. And usually those are opportunities for pivot points and resistances, etc. You can see back over here, we had some supports. Right now we were having some support right here, but we finally just broke down below that. And so there's a lot of lines here, but you guys are gonna to have to learn how to read which ones are most important by going back and looking a little bit more, uh, some historical context. You can see there's a pivot here on this Fibonacci circle or uh, spiral, whatever you want to call it. And you can see after we broke it, we had a pivot. Things like that happen. Uh, and you know, you guys are gonna learn how to read all this stuff eventually, but you guys can even see right now, ever since we broke down, we're still having some issues with this pivot point right here. We're getting rejected from it. And if we do continue to break down, even though this was caused off of a news event and not necessarily a technical event, our next big level of support for a lot of these currencies is way back over here around $13,000, $14,000 for Bitcoin. And this is just one GAN fan square or, you know, GAN square, GAN box for Bitcoin. You could go over here, go to the lows in 2018, add another one. You're going to see other levels of support that actually show that the, the next big level for Bitcoin on that one is around $14,000. And you're going to match those lines up and find buying zones. We're having zone buying and not necessarily just trying to find the precise point, okay? And as far as Bitcoin's concerned, we can go all the way back in time again and again to each and every pivot point. And they don't look like much here, which is why we had that vertical line on the screen. But that's basically how you use it, everybody. It's very, very simple. The math kind of takes a little bit of time to understand. But once you guys understand it, you guys will be golden. Make sure if you want to take a screenshot of this video or just come back to it anytime you have any questions. If you guys do have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you guys out. There are some issues that arise every once in a while, but this is how you guys get the job done. Thanks. Thank you.